<laughs> All right, and welcome back to another episode of Anticade. My name is Andy, as always, and today we're going to be uh, finishing up for now uh, Go Go Nippon, my first trip to Japan. So, in the last episode, um, Akira took us out to um, Akihabara, and we had a good time, and we just got back in time to hear chopping vegetables and other things. So, making the dinner preparations for tonight. So, good stuff. So, here we go. La 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 la. <laughs> oh my, you seem so enraptured with Akira. Ha, uh, no way, that's not true. It's just, it's just the first time I watched her cook. She seems so at ease with it. Oh, I see. Akira makes dinner like that every day. Every day? Yes, our parents are always busy with work, and they get home late. Once we were old enough, Akira started cooking every day. Hmm, I see. Yesterday, I was surprised to hear Akira was such a good cook. But now that I see her in action, it seems completely natural. Maybe Akira is more feminine than I thought. Hmm. Hmm. Why just Akira? As the older sister, wouldn't it be your responsibility to do the cooking? Oh shit, sweat drop. Ah, uh, well. As you suggest, I did attempt it at first, but... But? Akira said that she didn't want to leave it all to me. That's... <laughs> Come on, it's not like that matters. Let's see what's on TV. What? Hmm. That's strange. I thought we had some left. What's wrong, Akira? The ingredients for dinner. I didn't buy any since I figured we had enough in the fridge, but it looks like I was wrong. Ah, what should I do? I can finish without it, but it'll lack for taste a little. Do you want me to pick some up? Mm, I think so. Do you mind? Not at all. Wait, you're going shopping now? Well, yes. By yourself? Uh, yes, why? Are you crazy? That's dangerous. What? Come on, it's dark out there. It's dangerous for a girl to walk alone, around alone at this time of night. Don't be silly. It's not dangerous at all. Yes, it is. I'll go instead. Do you even know where to go or what to buy? Well, Akira could tell me. Do you know Oage? And then I'll need some Kamabuko. Uh, Oage is thinly sliced, deep fried tofu, often used in soups or as a wrapper for sushi rice. Kamabuko, or Kamaboko, sorry. <laughs> it's a little late at night. A firm cake made from fish, usually sliced and placed in soups. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's why I was gonna go. Then I'll go with you. That will solve the problem, right? I suppose so. Well, let's do that, then. I have no reason to refuse. That's that, then. Don't worry. I'll keep you safe. <laughs> Thank you. You're very reliable. And if anything goes wrong, I'll protect you. I'll be your shield. So. Huh? Do you see anyone who might want to cause me harm? Not at the moment. Not that... Just that, this place is incredibly peaceful late at night. Yeah, that was one of the nice things about Japan, is that you can... You can walk around late at night, and, uh... You know, it's pretty much a dead zone, for the most part. I mean, obviously, if you go into, like, the hustly bustly uh, parts of Tokyo, then, yeah, there's gonna be a lot more people, but... You know, for, like, neighborhoods and stuff like that, it's usually, like dead quiet at night, so it's nice. I told you, didn't I? I said it would be fine. But <laughs> obviously crimes do occur in Japan, and it is more dangerous at night than in the day. But it's still not really late enough to worry. Even then, as long as you're a little careful, you probably won't get into much trouble. It's true. I see. It is, even this late at night, there are young girls in short skirts walking all over. Is this country really that safe? 
Yeah. Yeah, it is. I kind of regret acting like I could be your cool bodyguard now. But... Huh? No matter how safe you think it is, things are never 100%, you know. Having such a wonderful bodyguard today makes me feel perfectly safe. Thank you. Makoto. Let's see. Olage and Kamaboko. And that's it. I don't think I forgot anything. Okay, let's head back. Uh, let me carry your bags. <laughs> Thank you. I can't refuse such a sweet offer. It's nothing. Oh, oops. I clicked that all too fast. <sighs> Excuse me. It's, yeah, it's getting late over here at Andy Cade headquarters. <laughs> so, and with all this music, I'm getting sweepy myself. That reminds me. You're good at the English, you know, Makoto. Or, you're good at English, you know, Makoto? Really? Thank you. Hearing you say that makes all my studying feel worthwhile. Can I ask some... Why are you studying English? Hmm, well, there's no particular reason for it. I just thought it would make it would be a nice skill to have for when I look for a job, and would open, open lots of opportunities in the future. That's about it. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the reasons I want to learn Japanese, too, is... You know, to open up uh, different job opportunities and for when I move back to Japan, uh, just make it easier to communicate with people out there. Because uh, the first time I was in Japan, uh, my first two years, um, like, I was decent considering, you know, how long I was in the country for. But I know that there's people out there who you know, can do it way better than me, and I really, you know, should have focused a bit more on learning the language, but, uh, you know, all things considered, I did pretty well, and I hope that when I do come back, that I'll do better, so, there you go. Are you disappointed? You were expecting a more noble reason? Eh, not at all. Whatever your reason, it doesn't change the fact that you're good at it. Besides, it's because of that that we were able to get to know each other. Eh, yeah, that's true. Okari. Okari. Okari and Asai. A traditional Japanese phrase used to greet a person returning home. So, if you're coming back home, you'd say, Tadaima. And then whoever is home, when you're coming home, would be, would say, like, Okari. Basically means, like, welcome home, pretty much. Or Okari and Asai. Oh, here, there we go. A little out of order, but Tadaima. Here, I brought this for you, and I just explained that, so yeah. Thank you. I'll get things ready, so you wait here. That reminds me, Akira is bad at the English. One's good at cooking and bad at English, the other's bad at cooking and good at English. It's pretty mysterious to have sisters so opposite like that. God, damn it, you're making me on two of you, game. The fuck are you doing? Goodness. All that walking around today has me exhausted. I guess it's true that spring in Japan is pretty cold. Good thing I brought some cold weather clothes. But I hear it's hot and muggy in summer with a lot of sun. Yeah, it is. If I come here in summer, I'll have to prepare for that. Though you can even buy suntan lotion in a kombini, so there's plenty I can buy after I get here. And that's really nice. <laughs> Those are open 24 hours, and they have a huge selection. Conveni really are convenient. I mean, it's all in the name, right? Go, go, Nippon. My first trip to Japan. Day two. Sun has risen. And I'm still really tired. Damn it. This fucking game is making me yawn. I don't know how much longer I can take it, guys. Mmm. Yawn. No! Not falling for your tricks, game. It's morning. I guess I'm still a little jet lagged. I feel completely exhausted. Yeah, jet lag is a bitch. Like, for real. Um, usually when I when I would come home, you know, back to the states, you know, to visit family and stuff, uh, it would take me a, a good couple days to get over it completely. But uh, this last time I came over, 
it took me like uh, probably a good solid week or two before I was 100% back. Like I'd have days where I was really good and then I'd have days where like I would be utterly exhausted like midday. Not just like, oh, you know, I could I could use a nap or whatever, but like just I'm going to bed, whatever, man. <laughs> and then wake up and it's like eight o'clock at night. <laughs> so that's happened before. But my time in Japan is limited, so I can't stay in bed all day. I've got to get up right away and get ready for another outing. I wonder what where they'll take me today. Bet it'll be fun. First, better wash my face and wake up. Huh? Huh? Oh, hey. Ooh. There's your fan service. Damn it, I'm such an idiot. I didn't even knock. Uh, Makoto, she's just as stylish as I thought she'd be. Uh, stylish? I mean, that's not the time to be thinking about style. Oh shit, she's mad. Yeah, she's mad. I was just, uh, I was just so tired I forgot to knock. I wasn't trying to walk in, walk in on you on purpose or anything like that. Still not buying it. So I am really sorry, so please. I don't blame you. There's no lock on the washroom door, so you couldn't help it. Of course. If I was doing it on purpose, I wouldn't have, ta would have taken a closer look. Well, it wasn't your fault this time. I'll forgive you. Good morning. You guys are up early. Hey, good morning. I, I just woke up a little early. What is it? Did something happen? Not at all. Anyway, I'm super hungry. What about you, Makoto? Eh, I am. Well, here it is. Breakfast is done. Ugh, that's a lot of text. Rice, miso soup, and natto. Fried fish. What a traditional Japanese breakfast. It's been so long since we had one of these. Holy cow, that's a lot of text. And it's... Ugh, Jesus. My eyes hurt. Miso soup, a protein-packed Japanese breakfast soup usually made with tofu and seaweed. Natto, fermented soybeans, polarizing for its extremely gooey texture and strong taste. Um, I like both of those things. I absolutely love miso soup, like for real. And just the miso base is good. I first tried natto in San Diego. Like I heard uh, so much about it, like, you know, not a lot of people like it, you know, foreigners don't like it because it smells and has a really strong taste and stuff like that. And I was kind of worried, I was like, you know, <laughs> even when I ordered it, the lady's like, really? You want natto? I mean, you know, it's kind of smelly and stuff, right? And I'm like, eh, I want to try it, you know. If I don't like it, I don't like it, but whatever. I actually ended up really liking it. So natto is good stuff, and it's extremely good for you, for you too. So, what do you want to do today? I know this is kind of kind of short for an episode, and we didn't really go anywhere today, but um, I, I, I need to call it an episode for now because like, I'm really tired, <laughs> and I don't think I can go through it. But I do want to revisit this game at some point. Uh, if you guys would like me to revisit it and uh, explore all the towns and stuff like that as listed, uh, be sure to leave me a little uh, comment love in the comments below in the boobity boops. And uh, with that said, this is the Andy Son. Sign for now. Thanking you guys boop, for tuning in to my playthrough of Go Go Nippon here on Andy Cade, and uh, for watching my other stuff. And if you guys have any suggestions for uh, video games, I'll be more than happy to uh, make it happen if I can. You know. <laughs> Pending funds, because I gotta get that sweet coin first, right? So, but uh, I'll do my best to make it happen. And I uh, just want to thank you guys for tuning in to this uh, video series and watching my other stuff. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.